Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk, and today I thought we would uh, we'd have a look at this. <laughs> now, um, I was walking my dog um, this morning in one of the local uh, beauty spots. It's a mile or two outside of uh, the village that where I live, and um, it's one of these places where it's out in the country, but there's a big lay-by where um, trucks sometimes stop off overnight for um, a rest. And uh, there's always trucks and things uh, around there, but because there's a lay-by there, I can park my van up. And there's a nice little bit of woodland so I can take the dog um, somewhere safe and let it um, have a uh, run round in the woodlands and what have you. So I was doing that this morning and I was walking back to the van. And I just spotted something out of um, the corner of my eye. In fact, it was literally, this is the, uh, the back, it was just like a bit of that just sticking out of the undergrowth. And it was absolutely filthy it was the entire thing was covered in green slime and um, god knows how long it had been there i said it uh well this is one of these old analog uh black and white five inch tvs now these were very common late 90s very early 2000s before um, the digital switch over and I don't know how long it's actually been left in that undergrowth. It could have been there for years. Uh, the screws are uh, fairly manky on it. But uh, I, I picked it up and I thought, I'm not leaving that out in the um, wilderness. I mean, it's it's not good. I hate fly tipping. I really do detest fly tippers. And um, what I think's happened is it's come out of one of them trucks. And probably around when digital got switched, when analog got switched off, someone had it in the truck. They couldn't be bothered putting it in the bin, and they just launched it into the woods. Like I said, which was horrible. So it's been there quite a few years, if that's the case. Anyway, like I said, I brought it home more for the fact that I didn't want to leave it polluting the environment than the fact that I actually needed the thing. But I, uh, I dragged it home and I took the back off it, and amazingly, actually, inside it wasn't bad at all. It was a little bit manky in there, but uh, it was just wet more than anything. So I've had it, uh, well I've been doing things today, I've had it um, sat in front of uh, the heating all day in front of the um, open fire in the living room. And it's actually dried out. Uh, this is literally how, um, I've not done anything with it yet apart from, um, apart from just dry it out, like I said. Um, it is fairly dry in here now. So what I thought we would do, um, was, it's absolutely worthless really this thing is, we'd plug it in and see what it does. So I have got, um, obviously it's, it's battery powered this thing, so there's no, um, there's no safety danger here at all. There really isn't. Um, there's no mains going near it. I know it generates high voltage internally, but um, again that's current limited. There's no way this thing can actually um, hurt you. So. Uh, no one uh, have a hissy fit seeing me do this now, but let's see whether this thing's going to blow up or it's actually going to do something. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll put 12 volts into it. There, uh, and let's see, uh, we'll see if the radio does anything. No, no. Is it doing anything at all? Oh, I don't know. Oh, what was that there? Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Look at that. Obviously we're not going to be able to... I think even the speaker works. We're not going to pick anything up because there's nothing to actually uh, tune in um, on analog TV anymore. But the thing does actually seem to work. I wonder if the radio works. Very... Well I'll say that, it's, hard. it's not really got an aerial on it but... Amazingly, it does actually still work. Not very, I mean that's full volume, that's all the way up. And it's very, very, very quiet, but it does actually work, that's quite amazing. See if the TV will come back on again. Yeah, cool. My actual thought. Over the long, I've been just wondering about this thing all day, whether it'd actually fire up and do anything or not. And what I thought was, um, I wonder if I could actually make this thing into a monitor. Because I've got this crazy idea about um, building a little compact Z ZX81 based um, computer, this all in one thing. And I was going to use an LCD panel, 
to um, as the monitor, but since I found this thing, I was wondering perhaps I could where I could integrate a um, this little CRT in there. Uh, I don't know. It's just an idea I've had. Um, I'll just kill the, kill the power to that for a second. And what I've got, this is, I've got one of my Zeddies here. So this is an unmodified Zeddy. It still gives an RF output. Um, I'm just, I'll, I think I'm going to try and hook this up to this. Now we see the things actually working. See if we can actually get a uh, a cursor on the screen. I'm playing with an X81s at the moment anyway, so I've got a ZD power supply on my bench. Um, let's see if we've got a bit of cable or something, and we'll see if we can uh, rig something up and see if this thing's actually going to uh, it's actually going to do anything. Um, what I need is a I need a phone or something like that. Now, what have I got lying around? Let's see, I'm sure I had one kicking about and some crop clips. Ah, that'll do. Okay, that. I've just got a phone over to a bare end there, so we'll uh, we'll put that in the um, TV out. Remember, this thing's giving out RF at the moment. I don't know if this is going to work. With no ground, we'll try it. Uh, got some snips. I've got the bit of the air, what was left of the aerial wire uh, for the TV here. Let's strip a bit of that. I, I just cut that off and I took the back off the thing. Like I said, I was more. Uh, getting the thing out of the environment than anything else but let's see I'll twist them two together and we'll see if we can get a signal off this um, zeddy onto that um, screen so well that's connected to there that's in there we need some power for the zeddy I'll take it off this board that I've been playing with and we can shove that in there Let's power the TV back up. I'm mindful that my battery is nearly flat on my camera again as well, so I don't want that to run out. So I'm just going to be quite quick playing with this. Um, right, the telly's fired up. Let's switch the power supply on for the Zeddy. And let's see whether we can actually tune anything in. It might be a bit of wishful thinking, this, but we'll see. Not, not seeing anything there. Is there anything? Is there something there? I don't know. Let's see if we can ground this out. We ground out the. Uh... I've got to be a little bit careful. I don't want to be bitten off this thing. But Let's try grounding out the connection there. I'm not getting anything. I don't think yet. And I'm pretty sure that that Zeddy does work. No. That's just something there, I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely something there, it's just not tuning it in properly. Like I said, because if I... Let's see if I can get something now. Not very, uh... Not very much chance. There's something there, isn't there? There's definitely something there. Let's try uh, grinding that out again. No, I'm not getting anything on our... Let's just try... Let's try connecting that like that. I'm just holding um, the connection on the uh, ground point for the aerial input there. Like it's, it's rough as hell. Not quite, but I'm nearly, nearly getting a signal there. Perhaps try pressing a few keys, get some characters on the screen on the Zeddy. Might make life a bit easier to see something. There's something there, but it's not... There's definitely something there, as you can see. But it's not actually uh, bringing it in. But, see, I was just, that was just literally a quick little... Uh, a quick little play that. Yeah, we're definitely on TV there. Hmm. I was hoping to get something uh, just playing about like that, but obviously not. I mean, the tune is probably absolutely the tune is probably absolutely shot in this if it's full of water. Anyway, the only thing I was thinking, um, just thinking out loud here, 
I'm not going to use RF on the um, Zeddy that I'm playing with um, for this. Let's uh, let's get that one out of the way. Um, it's going to be composite. Well, uh, it's going to be a video signal. It's not going to be going through RF. So, the other thing I could possibly do, let's just unplug that quickly. I'm definitely running out of battery on this. The other thing I could possibly do, if we look at these things, they're all very much the same as these cheap, these cheap little black and white um, TVs. Ignore that there, because that is basically just the radio tuner, that section. Uh, that's the uh, UHF tuner, that little metal box down there. But the entire TV is based on, I don't know if you can see it on the um, camera, but down in there there's one big IC. Now, years and years and years and years ago, um, I was in a company that I worked for. We was building some, um, what are called DSM consoles, which is uh, deputy stage manager consoles for theatres. And they wanted a little um, overview of the theatre so that the DSM manager could see what was happening on stage and what the audience were doing. So we put some cameras round, and they basically had a little monitor in their console that they could um, flick between the different monitors and see what was going on. And back then, LCD monitors were very, very expensive. Um, what I, um, I come up with is I used some of the basically brand new ones of these. And what I found is that the IC inside them actually has a composite input on it. So all I did was um, remove the tuner and connect straight into the composite input and use them as little um, black and white composite monitors for the CCTV use. I'm just wondering whether um, I could perhaps do something similar with this. I'll find the data sheet for that um, big IC in there and see if it's actually got a composite input on there natively. And if it has, like I said, I might be able to... Uh, build this into a nice little 5 inch black and white um, composite video monitor for use with uh, this little Zeddy project that I'm uh, working on at the moment. So anyway, I thought I'll leave it there for now, like I said this was just a quick video, I just wanted to see whether this thing was actually going to um, blow up or give me a shock or uh, actually work, which I'm quite amazed how well that works considering God knows how long it was left um, in, the, um, in the woods. Like I said, I'm going to leave it there for now, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.